Hey everyone, Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and More, and I'm about to show you something that, well, more than likely, you will never ever need. So let's just start with the problem. Well, besides this farmer's tan, it's this glove box. I mean, the engineers who designed this, uh, it's almost dangerous. Let me show you what I mean. So I don't know if you got anything like this in your boats, but when you open up this glove box, what holds it up is this spring. And it doesn't take much, but just a little, ah, a little tap, and this guillotine comes flying down. I mean, it's really ridiculous, just a bump, uh, you hit a little wake, this thing comes flying down. I mean, it's just a matter of time till somebody loses a finger. Kaboom! I think that qualifies as a boating fail. So the plan is to replace this spring uh, with this device, right? This is a little piston that uh, you can get uh, and it's easy enough to install, or so we hope, we'll find out in a moment. Uh, let me just say this, 100% full credit goes to Jennifer Henry Munoz. Look him up on Facebook, but it's because of his post that I got the idea that I wanted to do this too. So. Hopefully, my outcome will be as successful as his. All right, so let's begin by removing these lower screws here, and uh, we'll see what we can uncover as to what we might need. about does that and uh, now to figure out you know just how we're gonna get this piston to install with its brackets all right so the uh, hardware uh, kit looks like it's pretty comprehensive here it comes with screws uh, let's open this up and uh, see what we got okay so I've gone ahead and I installed the bottom mounting bracket using one of the existing holes right right there the other hole I would have to obviously fill, but it, right now with it loose, I could kind of almost adjust the height to get it just right and then decide where I want to put that other hole uh, or two holes, depending how crazy I want to get. And then of course I'm going to have to fill that hole. Uh, so that takes care of the bottom bracket. With the top bracket, I've gone ahead and just used one of the uh, screws to put it in. I'm leaving the, uh, you know, the other screw hole there, uh, loose, or I should say, not even loose, but I don't have a screw in it yet. I just want to kind of do a test thing. Uh, you know, apparently the way these things work is it seems it just pops on. I don't want to pop it on if it becomes like impossible to pop it off, but uh, you know, we'll figure it out. All right, so we have it in that location and uh, we go to close it and we got problems. It's not closing all the way. Uh, yeah, so that's not gonna work. And if I would have just taken the time to look at the post from uh, Mr. Munoz on Facebook, I saw that he mounted uh, the top bracket further back. So I think that's what we're gonna attempt to do right now. All right, so here we go, uh, finished product. I spared you some of the gory details of the getting to the last steps here. Well. Not all the gory, but uh, just the same. Here we go. Uh, there is our new piston installed. 
you can see we had to drill some holes here we still have the factory hole we could always fill that in it's not a big deal uh here is where the mount uh you know mounted up at the top there uh, our final setting and uh, we yeah, still have the old factory holes there but again not a big deal this thing works great i don't have to worry about this falling slamming on my fingers losing a finger right you don't want that that could ruin your day uh and this just works great you know just uh holds it right up and uh really a, a big improvement uh so yeah again i can't take credit for this uh this was a fellow uh you know form facebook uh post that i saw that gave me the idea thank you again to the munos family uh and uh yeah that's pretty much a wrap for this project right now all right so there you have it and uh that concludes uh this project this is just yet another mod to this vessel uh you know my subscribers know i have a video on all the mods i've done and now this one obviously has to be added to that list now while i said this is probably something you will not need and that's why i started this video uh while that might be true think about the ingenuity the creativity uh to be able to use something like a piston like this to just enhance uh, a circumstance that you might have it could be a, a door to your head right it could be a, another you know door uh, somewhere or a, you know a, a panel within your boat that you need to improve upon where you need it to stay open and you could use a device like this so it's just a great idea and i wanted to make this real quick video to help folks and just give you some uh some pointers on how something like this could well basically just make your life a little easier uh so that being said uh if you like this content you're not already a subscriber please subscribe to my channel uh hit the notification bell so you're made aware of any new video like this coming out and uh that's pretty much a wrap for today so peace all